Hey, it's Eric with Nutrition by Eric. Hope you're doing well. Today I'd like to uh, revisit a topic on, on breathing. I made a video about breathing and meditation, but I thought maybe I'll just make one about breathing in general and add some um, techniques and concepts that might help you, uh, especially in times of stress. Um, you know, breathing has been used actually as a tool and a technique for uh, calming and also as a method of changing your state for uh, yogis and people, maybe mystics. It's kind of a gateway into other other worlds, so to speak. You know, people, you've used it, they slow their breathing f to do certain things like ask. From what I've heard, I'm still actually learning myself, but the concepts of like astral travel and um, a little bit of like mystic experiences, uh, especially from after reading Dr. Joe Dispenza's book. Uh, slowing it down and certain techniques using your mind you know what you're thinking about what you're actually working on taking thoughts off which is kind of uh, tricky to, to teach yourself not to think of things so that's uh, maybe another video so today I'd like to talk about you know different using the breath at, um, as, a, as a tool as a technique to actually calm you down, reduce stress, and you'll have some, some health benefits. Uh, now, I think about think about how well you're using your breath. You know, it just happens usually right now. Hopefully you're not congested. Sometimes I get congested. It has some sinus stuff going on. You might hear it. So depending on what you have here, but let's see how, you know, um, most people breathe in through the mouth. Sometimes people um, breathe, or see, breathe in the bag. Sorry, breathing through the nose, out through the mouth, rather. Some people do uh, the breathing in the bag thing. Um, that's not so popular these days. But you can think of breath as kind of like uh, something you can adjust. Like think of, like you want to breathe in through the nose or through the mouth. You want to breathe out through the nose or through the mouth. You know, in nose, out mouth, in mouth, out nose. Uh, you want to do alternate nostril breathings. Uh, this is an interesting technique from the yoga tradition where you kind of make a little tool with your hand. I just, you know, you can do it like this, but I, I, I've seen it like this. I like this. Well, the, uh, there it is. It's the first two fingers down and then breathe in, hold it, exhale through the other nostril. You can do that five or ten times and then switch it make the tool with, with the uh, other hand and then switch it and you'll find it actually has a different calming effect because it's just sending the air in a different way and it's kind of neat You're like that really did something you know people drink coffee to change their state they'll drink tea they may smoke cigarettes or what have you or do drugs but hey this is free this is easy and a lot safer, a lot more natural, of course. So you can use all the different things, and I think of it so neat because as I was searching for more information, I found a website, I think it's from Healthline. If you just search uh, breathing techniques, you'll probably find it. And there's a lot of little you know, short animated uh, um, files, uh, GIFs, you know, GIFs, and shows really th interesting things. There's a lot of interesting techniques I just learned of today. I know of a few, but it seems like there's a lot out there. Like for one, for example, you could breathe in through your nose and hum on your way out and also press the uh, that little, not in your ear entry, but in that little bone, that little, mm, and you'll find humming can help, but this seems to kind of um, enhance mm, the sound, it makes it sound a little louder in your head, and you can also get your mind off of things. Actually, I may use it just out of an idea um, for when I get something stuck in my head that might help kind of make a little sound to shake it out. So it's really neat how breath can be so helpful, and there's many ways you can alter it. It's kind of like a lot of dials, you know. You want to turn your inhale up, or you want to turn your, where do you put your thoughts, how long do you want to do sit and um, be conscientious of your breath and play with it? Do you want to do five minutes, ten minutes, a half hour? 
how many times a day. So you see what I hopefully you see what I when I say variables, lots of things you can think about that are involved in this uh, ongoing act of breathing that we do every day long, all day long. You can also work with like where your hands go. You know, you want to put your hands on your chest, one on your belly, and see if your belly raises up or your, or your chest raises up or you can do both there's a thing called wave breathing in qigong where you move your breath from your chest down to your belly and, uh, and see how long you can hold your breath another variable that's very good for um, in general and also for swimming if you like to swim i think uh, i like to swim and i think that's a nice tie-in so you see there's lots of things you can do with the breath and all um, done done correctly can be a um, benefit. So what else you can do is also do a body scan. Um, a lot of people say put your attention, place your attention. Really, you know, direct your attention. If you want to think about different parts of your body, you'll direct your attention to that part of your body, which is a neat phenomenon, right? We can do. You can just if you want to think about your kneecap, your attention. Something is going on that you're more aware of your kneecap. Um, and so you can scan your body from top to bottom, bottom to top, and that backwards, but you, you, know, you know what I mean, hopefully. And you know, up and down your arms. Um, so you can look up Yoga Nidra, N I D R A. And yeah, and play with the, uh, the four aspects of, of breath, you know, inhale a hold, exhale, and hold. So for example, you can go in, hold, exhale, hold. Now the Navy SEALs adopted a technique called the box breathing where they use the count of four. They inhale, hold, exhale, hold, each for a count of four. And uh, I remember reading that, that that was a technique given to them to help calm them down uh, in times of stress. So you know, you have usually in general you know, have you have like um, the uh, Indian yoga slash let's say yoga information the Chinese slash Asian Qigong information and maybe the Western methods all kind of learning from one another a little bit of crossover but the yoga I think yoga has the most amount of different types of breathing they have. Uh, breath with the mouth open, your tongue out lines breath, there's pranayama, excuse me, where you um, breathe in and out really fast through your nose, and let's see if I miss out, and you can be, you know, play with the pauses, you can, uh, there's Wim Hof, there's another one, uh, where he breathes, <laughs> thinks through the mouth both ways, in and out, where he wants you to, um, uh, breathe in for longer than you than you've exhaled, so this helps you kind of have more oxygen, and you know then you hold it and that creates more oxygen to the body and that can help with a lot of cellular repair. So it's really neat. A lot of things you can do with breath where you may not have thought of that before. You just think, well, I'm just breathing, but now you can do so much with it. You can uh, um, alter your your breathing and have different benefits. And, and it's, like I said, it's a lot. There's a lot of different methods and techniques and you can see what's interesting and what's useful for you. So there you have it. Um, you can try it with or without meditation. You can just try it you know, while you're waiting, waiting for something. If you're sitting, if you happen to be sitting waiting for the bus or you just need a break and you want to get your mind off of things, you know. So um, yeah, so try it out. If you have any information on it, leave a comment. Um, if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe um, if you'd like as well. And check the description. I usually have offers for different things which I think are helpful, like the Spooky 2 machine, um, as well as other, other products, and uh, both physical and digital. Uh, so yeah, check back. Thanks so much for listening today and, uh, and watching, and uh, hope you stay healthy and safe out there. I'll see you next time.